Last but not least, we have Argentina versus Uganda. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Soto. My project's name is HOPE. I consider this very important because it's about equal opportunities in our society. For me, this is a fact, a reality. It has started about five, mo five months ago when I have the opportunity to live in one of the most primitive uh, indigenous uh, community from the north of my country. And I really want to improve their life because they live in extre extremely pure conditions. And I want to bring to them all the basic things they need to, to improve the, the way they live and to be a better one, one another. I think also that I have been working with a non-profit foundation and for me this was very important because I really want to, to continue to do this job in, in my country because I want to, to place drinking water and also energy from one of the poorest schools in, in my country because they have nothing and they are very grateful when I'm in front of them, cheering, uh, having fun. And this for me is very important. We have the, the experts, we have the professionals, we have the means, we have the passion. That for me is very important. The love of all of my Argentinian people and we need also your support. I think we together we can change the world and make some, leave some mark in children's heart. So thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My Beauty with a Purpose project is fighting teenage pregnancies. One out of four girls ages 13 to 17 is either pregnant or a mother. This is very disheartening. And as I look at all the ladies out here, I must say we are really blessed that we don't have to go through all this, but we can't say the same for our sisters out there. A uh, certain uh, story of uh, Daisy. Daisy was molested by her father at 12 years old. The father passed away and she had to go live with her grandfather and the grandfather did the same thing. Now this girl gave birth. Imagine giving birth to your grandfather's child. And this is happening a lot in Uganda. I come from the eastern part of Uganda and it has the highest rate of teenage pregnancies. What am I doing about it? Together with the Miss Uganda Foundation, we have a Keep a Girl Child in School program and this is to enable and encourage these girls to go back to school give them the necessary resources and skills that will enable them go back to school. I believe educating, when you educate a girl child, you're educating the entire community. So, and the biggest platform one can ever have is Miss World. I talked to a few of the other contestants and we all have this problem in our countries. How about we all come together, come up with common goals and objectives to fight this so that we can stand up for our sisters that cannot do this for themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. And for one last time, we will head over to the judges and their results. Thank you, Barney, and thank you to all of you for showing the world that Miss World contestants are bright and they are beautiful and they are empowering young women. Thank you. We have one more result, and Stephanie, we'll start with you. Incredible, the both of you. Just wanted to say that first. Um, this vote, I have to give it to Uganda. I believe it's the toughest to help a community when you have to go against a few people of the community. And well done, Uganda, you're doing it. Well done, the both of you. My vote goes to Uganda. Uganda, congratulations, you have made the Miss World Final 30. Um, this is the very first time Uganda is making it to top 30. <laughs> I am very humbled. Go Team Blue! <laughs> And Miss Argentina, commiserations for you, but it is not the end of the road. You can always make the final 30 on the night. Of course. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies.